Then you think about it. You think about the different ways of printing. Pen, pencil, typewriter, printing press. They all use different chemical solvents. But at the same time, they all have one thing in common. They all reflect light in some way. And so I began to read everything I could find on various ways in which light could interact with electrical effects. And one night in the library, I came upon an article by a Hungarian physicist and inventor. His name was Paul Selenyi. He'd been experimenting with facsimile transmission, sending uh, photographs over telephone, telegraph wires. And it suddenly occurred to me that it would be possible to create a visible image from an electrostatic image. And the one thing you would need to get started would be a purely photoconductive plate that would have a highly insulating ability at the same time. And the most photoconductive material I was aware of was pure sulfur. So I went to a German chemical supply house, Kerfel and Esse, and I got some pure sulfur crystals. Then I went to an art supply store. I got some small zinc plates. And I, I went out to my little apartment in Queens. I wasn't good with my hands. And uh, I used a pair of pliers. And I held the plate over the flame, the gas jet on the stove. And I'd sprinkle the sulfur crystals onto the plate. And the idea was to see if you could succeed in evenly sort of coating and making a uniform coating over the plate. And the first time I tried it, the sulfur melted too quickly, and it ran off the plate into the flame, and whoosh, the, the room filled up with sulfur fumes, and my eyes are tearing, and I'm coughing. I run over, I throw open a window, and I can hear people yelling out of their windows, what's going on down there? What's that smell down there? 